What's up, guys? So the patch is live here. The March update has hit. We got the new costume levels. And you can see here there's a way to craft the Synthium Stone. So this is the first one, the Vivid Synthium Stone, 19 Labor, couple Gilded Dust, which we're going to touch on greatly. Gilded Dust on the Morpheus Auction House Cluster has seen a huge, dramatic shift in value. So this is probably going to be a very limited time thing. Gilded Dust won't be this expensive. You're going to be mine freaking blown when you see how expensive Gilded Dust is right now. So sell your Gilded Dust if you have it. You use those guys, the clear ones to make the Vivid, and then the Vivids now make the Lucid. The Lucid requires the exact same materials except for you got this Missigun Crystal which come out of the Prestige Shop. So you're going to be using those guys to build up your costumes. Let's look at the Gilded Dust prices here. This is freaking insane. So this is only a few hours after the servers have lived and two gold and 54 silver and they have been selling guys they've been selling uh, not necessarily that high but they've been selling at one gold five silver is the highest the same day average today is, is now all the way pushed up to 77 silver I picked up some of these about a week ago right around 30 to 40 silver and you can see the averages is slowly creeping up and there's huge shifts in people that were investing and look at how many have sold today, 2,974. So sell the Gilded Dust today. They need 20 in a stack, so you can sell stacks of 20 Gilded Dust. If you got Gilded Stars lying around, you want to convert them into Gilded Dust. Sell the Gilded Dust, guys. Massive amounts of money to be had on the Gilded Dust. The other thing is that we're seeing a dramatic increase in the Cynthium Shard and Crystal or stone prices we touched upon this I told you to invest in these guys um, you know from all the way up from 20 gold here for the stones up to 89 gold is the cheapest in the auction house they have not personally sold at 89 gold yet uh, the highest is 49 gold uh, but the only ones on the auction house right now are currently 89 so if anyone wants to do any upgrading they either have to farm the stones themselves or they have to buy them for 89 90 gold the patch again just went live within the last couple hours so the markets are still adapting and shifting the vivid synthium stones have also seen a really nice price increase these guys were down for around 60 gold before the patch and now they're all the way up and people are actually buying them at 80 to 90 gold so you can see people are buying these guys the prices is starting to skyrocket there's only one left at 110 gold, and then the other ones are now at 200 gold. So these things probably will keep their value pretty high because you do need a whole lot of them. And then you also have to use them to craft up to the Lucid Synthium Stone. You can see huge price margins here. So grabbing the Gilded Dust, combining them with the Prestige item, making the new Lucid Synthium Stone. We don't have any sales yet of this on the other auction house cluster on Taoyang, we do have sales around 270, and I'll show you that in just a second. So this is the Morpheus auction house cluster. Since none of these have sold, you may want to price it down a little bit around 270, 250, 260. I uh, might get some bites there, go fishing, find out the price value, what people will pay for this stuff. But yeah, the supply is completely drying up. There was a lot more of these stones on the auction house previously. And now is the time to sell them if you have them. The other thing I want to touch on is the red regrade stone, the superior red regrade stone, uh, or charm, I should say. These guys have now the potential to be combined and become a silver regrade charm. These guys have not really seen a significant price increase. You can see slowly over the last two weeks or so, we've seen a steady shift increasing in value as the supply has been drying up there could be a dramatic shift in value on these guys once people start getting these dadiums and getting to the mythic and get that silver regrade charm you have to combine it with a superior red regrade charm so it's only a component you combine it with superior red regrade charm boom you make the new uh, silver regrade charm which is 50 percent better than the superior red so it's it's a better regrade charm crystal 
this is going to be, I think, a huge, huge value. We don't yet know if it is tradable. That's the only caveat in this situation. It has to be tradable for it to be worth any really money because otherwise you're going to have to trade your weapon or armor to somebody who is potentially going to steal it instead of regrading it. It's just not going to work out. If it is tradable, I do think that these silver regrade charms will be worth around 5,000 gold. Because you can see it takes one of these guys, and there's only three left on the auction house cluster. Uh, we might go ahead and buy these up in a few after the video. I'm not sure yet. I'm still debating on the fence. I'm probably going to buy them at around 1,000. Um, was picking them up around 900 gold the last couple days. So I do have a couple already stocked up. But yeah, I think these guys will jump up. And the reason I think these guys will jump up is because on the other auction house cluster, we have uh, Ta Yang's auction house cluster back here. They have already seen a really nice increase in value. So this is the Ta Yang auction house cluster. They were right around that 1,000 gold mark, as you can see here in the price history. And now the cheapest ones out here are at 1599 so nearly 1,600 gold. Nothing has necessarily sold today. But the supply is extremely limited. And so again, if that silver regrade charm is tradable, or even if it's not, because you can log in. This is a free-to-play account. You can log in with any free-to-play account, create tons and tons and tons of free-to-play accounts, and make these DDMs and make the silver leaves, combine them, get things up to Mythic. And since they are your own accounts, since they're your you know, alt freebie throwaway accounts, you can actually freely trade your weapons and armor to those accounts and have no worry about destroying or no worry about you know being scanned because again it's your account. So even if the silver regrade charm is not tradable, you can still have tons of an alt army, make tons of accounts. It's completely viable, uh, legitimate strategy to making money in this game and earn these uh, these tokens in there. There's also a couple other rewards, nothing really as valuable as the silver regrade charm, but yeah, hopefully they're tradable. Uh, fingers crossed they're tradable because that would mean that you can put them on the auction house. You can make a massive amount of money. Again, I think they're going to be worth 5,000 gold, guys, maybe more, and especially in the long run, they're going to be worth a lot of money because once you can't get them anymore, uh, the value goes up on those things. We'll take a real quick look since we're here on the Centium Shards and Stones. Same thing we're seeing around 6 gold for the Shards here. And then for the Stones, you can see there's a lot more supply since this is an Auction House cluster. They have a lot more players to draw from. These Stones have seen about the same value, around 70 gold. And you can see it is a smaller increase as this cluster apparently uh, you know, invested wisely. And kind of already had their market value. The Vivid Centium Stones have seen a nice increase in value around a 50%. So they were selling for right around 80, 90 gold, it looks like here. You can see the sales are the same day averages. And now the cheapest is 129 gold, and they've actually sold at 128. Uh, so these are seeing a nice value increase. Centium Stones there, the Gilded Dust. Same thing, also saw a nice value at nearly one gold for a Guild of Dust here. And once again, it hasn't been a dramatic shift in value here, but it is a slight steady increase in value, and so many Guild of Dust has been sold. 7,520, and I really don't think Guild of Dust should get higher than one gold because there's so much Guild of Stars in the system, and you can break it down to get four Guild of Dust, and there's really no other value for the Guild of Stars that are better than four gold per Gilda Star. Getting four gold per Gilda Star is pretty insane in my opinion. I don't think we've seen that on any design for a long, long time. I may be wrong on that. I don't personally sell 1,000 Gilda Star designs or 3,000 Gilda Star designs, so I don't know what the value is. But being able to sell them for you know four gold per Gilda Star is a great, great thing. So if you have Gilda Stars, Gilda Dust, sell it now. This is the time to get rid of it. Uh, prices against, eventually will decrease as more supply comes into the game. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button. Share the video. Hopefully, you made a lot of money investing in these things previously. That's why you follow the channel, guys. That's why if you're new to the channel, you uh, you you know take my advice. 
Most of the time we are correct on market trends and increases in value. Sometimes we are wrong, but yeah, most of the time we are right. And even if we are wrong, you normally don't lose that much money on one of my investments here. We're making, you know, three to four times value on the shards and the stones around a 50% increase in the the vivid ones and I personally didn't recommend Gilded Us but I also personally just bought some myself so I'm making a nice profit there